First, I'm just going to use an 8 by 10 inch canvas panel. I'm going to use a 3 inch wash brush for softening backgrounds. Here's a half inch wash brush just for adding blocks of color, mostly in the background. There's a small filbert brush, which is good for blending larger objects. Here's a small angled brush, which is good for blending and applying color if you want it to be defined and keep your edges. A couple small round brushes and then a super fine point detail brush. So you can see I actually took a tiny round brush and clipped using clippers and scissors half of the brush width to give a super fine point. As far as paints, I'm going to be using Hippie Crafter paints, which they've been uh, kind enough to send. So thanks to them. And this is going to be Mars Black, Titanium White, a bright lemon yellow, champagne, which is an off pink, yellow ochre, burnt umber, raw umber, a couple different greens, pale green, emerald green, and viridian, cobalt blue, and cold gray, which is just a blue gray. And that's all you'll need for this painting. And I forgot coffee. Don't forget coffee. All right, so I'm gonna go through all the colors, uh, how to mix them up and how to color match for this painting. So let's do that. The front of the leaf and the top of the frog, that lime bright green, we're gonna create that by mixing up a little bit of the pale green there in the bottom left, some lemon yellow, you see how it, that pops now, and a little bit of white, just to thicken it up and give it some opacity. So that'll give you that nice bright green highlight color. For the bulk of the leaf, our main base greens, we're going to be using some emerald green, which has a little bit more blue in it. We're going to use some of the pale green. just a touch of yellow, and then just a touch of white. So that's our base green throughout the painting, especially for the stalk and that upper half of the leaf. And you can add in a little bit more pale green if it's too blue or too turquoise on you, then just uh, add more pale green relative to the emerald green. The bulk, you know, all the highlights, that water droplet, the strip down the frog that gives it that wet look, that's all just pure white. The dark band pattern that runs from the front to the back of the frog is Mars Black, Raw Umber, 50-50, and a little bit of uh, pale green. So it's not just pure black, you know, we mix some other colors in there just to give it a more subtle, interesting color. The background. is pretty much what we just mixed up, plus some Viridian. So instead of making the background just a pure black, you know, we used black, we used raw umber, some Viridian. And then we mixed up and it gives it that a more uh, unique color as opposed to just pure black. So there in the bottom, it's a bit darker and then I have it blended out to a more Viridian uh, upper half. The little veins and highlights in the leaf, I used a pale green, that mid green tone, some yellow, some white, And then on some of those, uh, you know, bottom of the legs and throat area, I use a little bit of that champagne off pink. And then in the toe pads and some of these, uh, it's upper arm, I use a little bit of ochre and yellow. 
gives a muted orange, a little bit of white, just to calm it down. And that's the upper eye also. And then there's also some blues. So in the top of the hind foot and in the water droplet reflections, there's some blues I created by using a little bit of that cold off blue gray, some cobalt blue and a touch of white. So it's just a muted sky blue. And I use that in the, like I said, the top of the foot there and then also in the middle of the droplet. So the top of the droplet and the upper leaf, like all those shaded areas, I used a viridian and burnt umber mixture. So you get a nice dark green, but it's not too dark. And that's it. And that's how you mix up all the colors you'll need for this painting. So let's let's jump into it. All right, first step is I'm just going to put in our background base layer using our raw umber, black, and viridian or mid-green mixture that I showed you for the background. I'm just using a half inch brush with moist bristles and I'm just going to go ahead and block in the background. So you don't have to worry about this being pretty, we're just laying in that initial layer and then we'll, we'll worry about our blends and uh, uh, cleaning up that background later on. Now I'm just going to block in the main base colors of our frog and leaf using our main color that I showed you. I believe it was a mid-green, a little bit of yellow, a little bit of white. 
but yeah, using a small round brush with moist bristles, I'm just blocking in our, our basic shapes here. So again, these don't, this doesn't have to be uh, beautiful either. These are just our initial layers and we're just mapping out the concept. Uh, obviously I went ahead and sketched out um, just a rough sketch of, of you know, my basic shapes of the painting, the water drop, some of the main highlights, the frog, just the basic parts of the frog, you know, like the legs and uh, like I said, some of the highlight areas, the eyes, the water drop, the highlight in the water drop, the main leaf, just sketch out your basic shapes. It doesn't have to be beautiful. But here we've pretty much blocked in the, uh, the main shape of the leaf and we omitted the areas of the frog and the water drop. And now I'm just adding a little bit of that bright yellow border to the leaf. That's just our highlight, our, our yellowish highlight color that I showed you. And now I'm going to block in the main body of the frog using that, that base, uh, base green. And I'm just omitting the highlight area there in the back. So just, uh, I'm just blocking in the main, main parts and then we'll go ahead and add, you know, shadows and bright spots. So here on the back, I'm adding our bright green, yellow highlight color. And then we're just going to work, work in our basic, uh, colors and shapes here. So now I'm putting in our uh, shaded areas. Same thing, just a small moist bristled fill or uh, round brush, detail brush. And I'm just working in some of those darker areas using the shadow color that I showed you. This is just a green and a brown. Now using a detail brush and some of that blue we mixed up earlier, just the cold gray, cobalt blue and white mixture. I'm going to add our little touches of blue. There's some in the water droplet, there's some on the front portion of the leaf, and then there's some uh, on the hind leg. Then I'm going to uh, go ahead and add some of that dark shadow color that we mixed up with the viridian and the black and the raw umber and I'm going to border the water drop and just add some variation in the water drop and then leave, leave a white area there. That's our highlight. So just continuing to map things out now. I'm just using that dark shadow color and adding this strip of dark that runs down the length of this frog. So it's just its natural pattern here.
So you just map out our stem using that same base green. And then we'll pretty much have things you know, conceptualized here. We have our first layer in, and then we can start, uh, start thinking about second layers, third layers, highlights, detail, things like that. So here I'm just adding some white in the highlights just to define our main highlight areas. And we can tweak and change those later on, but we just want to have everything mapped out. I'm just going to go in and clean up some of our edges now that we have everything mapped. I'm going to clean up our background a little bit. This is just a filbert brush using our background color. And I'm just going to block things in in a more defined way so we can really start to see things. So I went ahead and added a second coat to the background and then now I'm just going over it with a soft bristled dry large wash brush. That was a three inch wash brush with soft dry bristles. Don't put any moisture and that'll help smooth out in the background any of those little brush strokes and stuff to give a nice soft background look. I didn't want to bore you with the second coat but just using that same background color, the raw umber, viridian green and black. Go ahead and add just a second layer, clean up, block in that background, and then go over it with that soft, dry wash brush, nice and gentle, and it'll wipe out those uh, brush strokes. So now we got our background blocked in, we have our basic first layers in, and now we can start to add highlights and details. So I'm just using some bright white here on a moist bristle detail brush. And I'm just dropping in some of our basic highlight shapes and just defining that uh, from the get-go. So there's some on the very top of the frog. There's some on that back eye crest. We have a strip running down the hind leg, a, a chunk in the middle. And then there's a big blob of highlight in the water droplet. So you want to make sure to get those highlights right because that'll give it a wet look and make everything uh, come together. So here's some of that shadow color and I'm going to reestablish our shadows underneath the hind leg of the frog. And then I'm going to use that same color to border and reinforce and redefine the uh, water droplet, the under area of the frog's head, and then also I'm going to add some, uh, some pattern to this leaf. So just put some upside down triangles 
from the outer rim of the back half of that leaf um, converging in towards that water droplet and then that'll give you some nice uh, pattern and texture in that leaf. This is just a moist bristle detail brush. So now I'm going to go in and add our highlight uh, yellowish color here to the top of the frog. So up above that highlight strip that we put, I'm going to block in most of it with this, uh, this bright color and that will give us some light on top of the frog. And on the top of the hind leg I'm going to do that too. And then I'll add a couple little touches there, um, you know, on the hind leg foot, a couple in the bulk of the body. And a couple little little touches here and there, some on the, the front cheek. But mostly you want that highlight color on the rims of the leaf and the top of the frog. So here I'm going to add it to the, the front rim, the tip of the leaf, and then the back rim also has that highlight color. There I put a little, little touch of it. I muted it down with some white and a little more green and added that to the to the stem, just the top portion there, and I'm going to blend that out good because we want that stem to look blurry and unfocused, and then that'll give us more focus on the frog. So the front portion of this leaf, that front edge, we're going to blur out. The stem we're going to blur out, and then the back half of the leaf and the frog we're going to have in tight focus with crisp, clean edges, and that's going to uh, really make it pop. And make it look interesting and, and real. So try to really blend out your edges well in the stem and the front portion of the leaf and the rest will have clean defined detail and that'll put it in focus. So it's a very cool little illusion that will help bring this to the next level. So here I'm just beefing up those uh, patterns and designs using our dark color And we're just adding some detail now.
So here I added, I'm just going to add a little bit of darker green. It's kind of our mid-tone base green, but I darkened it up just a bit and bordered the underside of those highlights just to give them some contrast and really make those highlights pop. So that's what that is. So in the bottom portion of the leg here, mostly the hind leg, I'm adding some of that yellow ochre, burnt umber, and champagne color. It just gives a natural pinkish brownish, you know, flesh tone. It, it just adds a little natural tone there to the under part of that hind leg. and It's just a nice touch so that everything's not pure green everywhere. It just gives some other uh, some other natural tones in there and matches the markings of, of most frogs pretty well. So, yeah, that little touch of uh, brown and pink there in the, in the bottom of the legs and, and the chest area up in the, in the bottom portion is, is a nice touch. So try to throw that in if you can. And this is just uh, that super fine point uh, liner brush, detail brush with uh, moist bristles. Not too wet, you don't want it watercolor thinned out, and not too thick to where it'll streak and drag and be chunky. You want just a nice, thick, moist consistency that flows well, but is still, you know, good color. So that's, that's the consistency you want on your brush for most of this detail work. So you can get super fine points, you know, tiny dots, little details, clean edges, that's, that's what you want.
so mostly, you know, now I'm, I'm just reinforcing some of the concepts and details that we've talked about. I'm just tweaking, changing, making it the way I want it, adding color here and there, just messing around with, with what we've already spoken about, using the same colors we've spoken about, the same brushes, techniques. And that's how I'm going to build up the detail in this frog. So I'll go ahead and as we, uh, as we continue here, I'll, I'll just start to jump in and chime in whenever there's uh, something different or something, uh, something else that we need to, need to touch. But here you can just watch my brush strokes, copy these, look at what I'm doing here. Um, but we're just building detail using the same colors and concepts and shapes that we've already mapped out really. So I think this is a good stopping point for step one because we have our background in, we have our basic shapes in, our basic colors and concepts in, and then in part two we'll go ahead and really refine everything, clean everything up, and make it perfect and, and finish it up. Um, you know, once these videos get too long, it's not good for, for YouTube and it's hard to, to edit and manage and upload and download and do all that stuff. So yeah, let's let's uh, let's stop here and then um, I'll go ahead and add a link to part two in this video and then there's also going to be a link in the description and the comments so go ahead and uh, in part two we'll go ahead and, and we'll finish up and add all the final details